Howdy folks, this is Trevor here, spewing the fumes of hatred. Um, I'm going to be covering, uh, or covering, recommending uh, early, mostly early 90s uh, death metal releases that uh, have uh, rotted in an obscurity or just not really, you know, heralded as much as other albums, even though I feel like these deserve uh, worthy praise. Um, so hopefully I could turn you on to some, you know, cool shit you haven't heard before and you've heard it. You know, it's cool. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. Or at least appreciate it. Um, right now I'm playing a Chronos Dancing in the Fire, the solo album. Uh, I feel like very, uh, I think Chronos is kind of under, pre uh, under uh, appreciated as a frontman. Um, as far as like his you know, talents. I think he's a very, frankly, underrated uh, clean singer. And this album kind of proves that he could clean sing, uh, as well as some moments in uh, Come Before the Storm by Venom. But I, I'm a Chronos guy, man. You know, I follow, I still, you know, follow what he's doing in Venom, and I have all those, I have all Venom records, but I love a lot of what he's doing with them. You know, there's past couple albums of you know, from the very depths and uh, open the gates. I think, you know, he's cranked out some of their best songs in the last two decades. So, you know, if, you, if you're not going to check those Layer of Venom albums out, at least uh, give uh, Dancing with Fire a listen. Uh, so, uh, as far as the 90s obscurity albums, or mm, I would say, uh, Early classics that aren't regarded as classics. So we got Funeral Vision It, 1993 EP from Poland. Um, all they ever did, and uh, it's kind of a shame, but it's very like dark, melancholic death metal. Very, um, very moody with the. Uh, um, I don't know how you phrase it. Like, I use the word melancholic. Um, it has that type of layering in the guitars, just like this this sorrowful layering. If that makes, you know, you catch what I'm, what I'm saying? Like, it matches the album art. You know, you're lost in the woods and feeling hopeless type of thing. But this reissue includes a, some bonus tracks, you know, a rehearsal and a uh, unreleased track and which I think was live and then uh, the Paradise Lost cover so you're getting some extra material with every issue uh, absolutely recommend it uh, Dementor the Church Dies along with Morbid Infection Church Dies is a 1994 Morbid Infection is their uh, demo that came out before that in 93 and uh, the band is from Slovakia and uh, for me, that's all the material from them that I need. I got a couple of other albums I've never really got into. Like I have the Art of Blasphemy, which I want to pick that up because it came with uh, Heads Heads, uh, We Hail the Possessed, which is a killer record. Probably should have included that. Uh, but you know, I plan on making this multi-part series anyway. So Dementor kind of was on the cusp of that brutal death knell sound they had like the really brutal riffing but with also like the soaring harmonic or harmonies and melodies and whatever fancy guitar terms I could think of that don't make sense but very illiterate when it comes to explaining that shit but uh hyper blast drumming um uh really deep vocals but decipherable um, I feel like they've kind of let up since then like I had I don't know if it was their album directly after but I have The Art of Blasphemy which came out in 99 and it's kind of just meat and potatoes death metal uh, nothing really new going on but Church Dies absolute uh, fantastic underrated album in my opinion uh, go check that out uh, 
Uh, this is a Mega Slaughter. Calls from the Beyond. Fucking top to bottom. I mean, one of the, one of the most uh, criminally underrated death metal albums of all time because I've heard maybe one or two people talk about them. And uh, they're from Sweden, so they they don't have the HM2 sound, which is fucking relieving because uh, that's that's been oversaturated since it started. Um, you know, but they do have that nihilist influence. You know, the demos, and then they kind of have like this autopsy style and the slower parts and then um, I would say like abhorrence influence or Finnish death metal in general they got really dark pissed off heavy fucking riffs and, and these sing songy choruses uh, it's absolutely a, a catchy masterpiece of brutality and, uh, can't recommend it enough check it out Mega Slayer Calls from the Beyond another catchy album uh, Jumping Jesus, The Art of Crucifying um, from 91. This is the uh, Netherlands. They kind of, again, uh, they kind of have their own sound, I believe. And, um, and I've heard them again mentioned a couple times, but not really brought up in high regards. You know, most, you know, most of the times I've heard them brought up, they, you know, people say oh it's solid but I think it's absolutely just killer um, vocals have a lot of range sometimes it's a little wacky when he hits the highs but you know, they're called jumping Jesus dude I think they, they've taken themselves too seriously um, they, uh, the guitars have a, a lot of variety as far as like well the songwriting complex is just you're gonna be missing a lot if you just have it on its background noise. I mean, you you need to really pay attention. Like, give it an intent and listen. Otherwise, you're gonna be missing a lot. It's got so many changes and it's not messy by any means. But there's a lot going on. And, I mean, they they turn killer shit into more killer shit, and it's just like how they, how they do that. But yeah, it's. Uh, that reissue from 2017 on Vic Records that has their 1990 Jumpin' Jesus demo as well. So, check it out. Uh, right here, it's one of my favorites. This is a authorized a source of Dominion, 1991, from us, from Sweden. And uh, this contains their four track demo as Morbid Fear, which they were from 1980 and 1990. And I got the double blue LP which uh, came out in, uh, I think, 2010. Yeah, 2010. Um, licensed by The Crypt. Copy for 73 out 500. Yeah, one of those bands that just had a sound of their own. You know, they didn't really sound like anybody else. Um, very, uh... <clears throat> they kind of had like that... Some parts kind of sound like that tech thrash, um, but just really like interesting um, song structure that's really brutal, but also you know sticks in your head. Um, the vocals kind of had a fry to them, even though they were still like you know deep growls. It's just yeah, fantastic shit. I can't recommend it enough. Um, and it get it gets repressed, you know every so often so I think it's back on CD uh, I saw it pop up like some weeks ago on Hell's Night Bangers for like 10 bucks I don't know if it's still there but go check it out you should be able to find it this is a, one of my favorites as well Anthropomorphia from the Netherlands with a Necromantic Love Songs this comes with a Bow Mutilation demo as well so Bow Mutilation was 92 Necromantic Love Songs was 93 so this is the, the triple fold Sorry. Yeah. My bam was falling out. <laughs> Just at the edge, no problem. But, uh, yeah, I got the the pink swirl. And uh 
this uh, comp came out in, uh, I think, 2011. 500 copies. Again, the Crypt. They were putting out a bunch of killer shit. Um, yeah, this album is just, just impaled you. It's so fucking heavy. And, again, really, like, really memorable guitar riffs that you just hum in your head. But it's... It's fast, it's also doomy, it's punishing, it's, I mean, perfect fucking crunchy death metal that I just feel like doesn't get mentioned. And they've put out albums uh, in the last ten years that are rippers, you know, they don't come close to that, but they're still putting out really solid material. Uh, check out Merciless Savagery, that was their last album, I believe. Uh, one of my favorite albums of all time, if not my favorite. Absolutely favorite. Uh, Gutted Blue for Us to Live from 94. Uh, band from Ohio. Uh, again, another band kind of had it picked from a bunch of different bands and turned it into their own thing and had that sing songy type quality with their choruses and, I mean, the vocals throughout. Very deep, very uh, guttural, but you could understand them. Um, the guitar riffs just they're just uh, fucking they punctured you and you know the drums just you know <laughs> pounded your soul out you know just everything man everything about this album is just out of perfection and uh, ble you know Bleed is probably my favorite death metal song of all time you got Sins of God and and Nail to the Cross, and uh, Flood of Blood is, an, you know, another favorite of mine. That's the last track. You know, Kick of the Corpse, Chopped Up at the Altar, Death to Dismember, uh, Skeletonized, the whole fucking thing. Am I missing a song title? No, oh, yeah, Cold in the Coffin, Chopped Full of Guts. Yeah, yeah. Entire fucking album, man. Yeah, it's up there. It, it's not number one, it's number two. Uh, and they had an EP that was self titled that was really good as well, but I, I don't think anything touches that album. Um, this is a grotesque infection, consumption of human feces. This is a compilation uh, put out in 2020 under uh, Extremely Rotten. Uh, so they just had the two death, it was 91 and 92. Um, Dan from New York kind of had that, uh, <clears throat> I would say, if you like Morpheus Descends, you're kind of in that wheelhouse. Uh, also, Roger Vore came out with their full length after after these guys, but I would say if you like Roger Vore, you would, you would dig that as well. Um, yeah, disgusting fucking crunchy death metal that... Got some funny shit, no pun intended. Uh, this here is a grog with the macabre remains from, sorry, Requiems from Portugal. And uh, this is the picture disc, and I believe this is OG. Um, this is a um, horror themed. Okay, that's, the, it's even got the, the lyric insert. Um, a horror theme death metal. Got, got a lot of thrash, you know, some grind too. Um, relentlessly heavy and pummeling. Um, they've gotten a lot more grind since, but, you know, I think they've put out some solid albums. Um, I don't want to see anything nearly as much as that, but <laughs> a band I would check more out of, um, I got uh, ablutionary uh, rituals, so that's like full on fucking, I don't know, what you, gore grind out. I just call it grind, death grind. But super fucking heavy. It's like you, know, you like matcha or however you say it. You'll you like grog. Uh, Morbius, the shades of 
Uh, the Shades Below from 1992. This is a band from Virginia. They got some members. Um, I think both members of Argo Slint and uh, they're the Sylvester Brothers. I believe both the both the Sylvester's are in Argo Slint. Correct me if I'm wrong. I listen to these guys when I do Argo Slint. Like I like Argo, but um, I feel like it's got too much variety in the riffs. You know, I like it a little more straightforward. You know, like like the Jumpin' Jesus has a lot of variety, but I can still keep up with it. Uh, sometimes Argo Slint goes a little too beyond that for me, like the accessibility. It's still really good, though. I you know I love their shit. But this album is to me is a perfect perfect death metal record. Um, also, Alien Christ is awesome. So joins through the Septiac. Um, yeah, pick up all their full links or whatever you can find. I also have, um, I think I have, with Sojourns, I have um, an extra CDR. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but it's also really good. It's either a demo or an EP. Uh, one of my favorite bands, Obscenity, Subdated Truth. Uh, this is the new pressing, because it's super hard to find otherwise. This is a, the, uh, I don't say gray with like red and white splatter, they probably have it. The color is different from what I'm seeing. But this is 1992 uh, from Germany. And uh, their entire discography to me, top to bottom, you know, perfect. You know, Perversion Mankind, Third Chapter, Human Barbecue. Um, intense, uh, cold blood murder, to the last one, uh, summoning the circle. <clears throat> uh, what's another one? I'm missing, I think I'm missing one. Where Sinners Bleed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, every fucking album is great. They're very dynamic, you know, everything. Every album sounds different from the other, but it still kicks ass. They got a new vocalist now who's on that Summoning the Circle album. More, obviously, keeping up with the modern times, but still keeping that old school sound at the same time. It's very crushing. Um, anyway, back to Suffocated Truth. That album uh, kind of has that uh, pungent stench, uh, For God Your Soul, For Me Your Flesh quality to it, as far as like the drum sound, some of the riffs. Um, and even the vocals, I would say, kind of sound like Punch and Stench. Uh, there's a touch of Immolation Down Possession, and, uh, fuck, uh, may like Crater and Destruction as far as the pacing, but fantastic album. What, what? Honestly, probably not even call it my favorite obscenity album, but it's one that's absolutely, uh, it's a must-have. I, I mean, I believe all their albums are, to be honest. Uh, Moondark, the Shadow Path from, uh, I think it was 93. Yeah, 93. It's a 2007 Temple of Darkness pressing. But, uh, super, I mean, super crunchy. Just dark fucking being drowned into the abyss type shit. I mean, it's absolutely, it's kind of overwhelming um, how fucking heavy that album is. It's very fuzzy, very, you know, very rhythm driven. It's got that rhythm like you're being chased in the woods by this big fucking bear. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're from, uh, they're from Sweden, but yeah, definitely not a Swedish sound. It's like if, um, I'll compare it to a Swedish band, you know, Swedish band though, you know, imagine Gourmet on steroids, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good comparison, but yeah, check them out, man. Uh, Dark Sex, uh, Swall Swarming Mass uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, this is actually the original album art, but it's on the back. This is the remastered, and this is from, uh, the album's from 93, but the this issue is from 
2013 under extreme music just chunky fast driven pummeling death metal that really deep vocals you know the frenetic riffing uh yeah absolute banger of an album i do have an extra i forgot to pull out uh this is you so uh this max circle of Evol uh, evolution from poland this is a recent pressing as well yeah june 2020 this came out in uh, 93 so this is convenient the back cover because if you want to know what the sound is all you gotta do is look at the shirts so you're gonna get some dsr you're gonna get some malevolent creation you're gonna get some dot possession so uh yeah killer record i didn't check out uh i think they only did one other one or maybe two more after this i didn't check them out and it was kind of like one of those like well i got this you know i'm, I'm happy for now so um well yeah that's it um Hopefully I can make this into a little series, but this is, uh, these are the 90s albums I felt like talking about today, and, uh, you know, let me know your thoughts, and hopefully I turned you on to some other bands to check out, and, yeah, well, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, toodles.